I was watching uh, Charlie's Angels Full Throttle and I really, really liked the way their makeup looked in that movie. Uh, Cameron Diaz, uh, Drew Barrymore, and uh, Demi Moore's makeup looked really pretty. And what they did was just used really shimmery eyeshadows all around their eye and they lined the inside of their um, eyes in black. And I just really, really liked that look, so I thought I'd recreate it. Um, if you like the way this looks, please keep watching. I have already put on my foundation, which is the Revlon Color Stay um, foundation in the color Buff. And I've applied it with this uh, Real Techniques uh, beauty, beauty Blender, and I really, really like it. Uh, I only use this on weekends when I have time because it, it, it does take a while to just. Um, to spread everything out, but I've also used this Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. This is my all-time favorite loose powder that I've ever used. And I've done my eyebrows with this uh, Maybelline Eyebrow Pencil. So in the movie, I noticed that all their eyeshadows were very shimmery. I'm going to start with this Maybelline Color Tattoo 24 Hour by Eye Studio um, in the color bad to the bronze. I'm just going to apply it with my fingers all, all on my bottom lid. Now I'm going to blend it out with my um, MAC 217 brush. I'm going to add more shimmer and for this at Von D Monarch palette I'm going to use the color and the color disintegration. That's more like it. It's looking a little bit more shimmery, which is the look I'm going for. And just all on the bottom lid. And I kind of want to add a little bit of warmth to it. I'm going to add this orangey tone called Deadhead. Giving it like a, a coppery rose gold tone. No, I love me some rose gold. I think I say that in every single video. <laughs> I'm gonna do the bottom just the same, but instead of using the color tattoo, I'm gonna use the brow gal by Tanya Crooks that came in um, my beauty com box. I really like this, uh, and I'm gonna use the color gold. I'm going to line my bottom lid. Now I'm going to go over it with disintegration and a deadhead. First disintegration. And now deadhead. just so that it looks even on the bottom and on the top. And I'm gonna go over the top and bottom interior of my eye with this Revlon Color Stay in black. And this is what really made their eyes look really rock and roll. Now I'm gonna apply some mascara. could apply um, falsies. They didn't seem to be wearing them, so I'm not going to wear them either. And I think that's it for the eyes. Now I'm going to apply some bronzer. I use my favorite, the Milani, the Milani uh, Baked Bronzer in the color Glow, number 04. I'm just going to apply it all on the top of my forehead. And then kind of go in the shape of a three. Now I'm going to apply some blush, uh, also Milani, in this very beautiful uh, peachy color. Apply some highlighter. I'm going to use this uh, Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator by, uh, in the color Gilded Honey by Laura Geller. And I usually like to apply right 
here on my cheekbones on the top of my nose just a little bit a little bit here to lift your eyebrows One trick I've learned is that if uh, you use your uh, real techniques or your beauty blender, um, it's already a little bit wet. Just go over it just on this part a little bit so that the highlighter really stands out here. For lips, I'm going to line my lips with um, this Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat in the color Iconic Nude. And I do overline just a tap, almost nothing. And for lipstick, I'm going to use this Milani Matte Naked. I love this color, especially I, I love to wear it in the fall. So that's what I'm going to use. Actually changed my mind about the eyelashes because it was kind of not popping enough for me so I ended up uh, putting some kiss lashes in the style flirty and so yeah this is the finished product um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel I will link everything I used in the description box below so I'll see you again very soon bye Oh, she's a bear.